So today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your alternator in your Toyota Sequoia. This one's a 2002. Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Facebook. After watching this video, your car problems stand about as much a chance as this laptop does against my hot Hyundai. Now, make sure you stay tuned so you can see what happened to the laptop at the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Okay guys, and here's the tools I use in today's project. I have an extended 3 8 ratchet, a regular 3 8 ratchet, with an extension, a 12mm, 14mm, 14mm, you can see I got a shallow and a deep, and a 10mm combination wrench. Also, I just want to add, today's project is not for the faint of heart, so if you're not confident in your do-it-yourself skills, then you may want to pass this job up, watch the video, and see what you think. So, with all that said, we'll go ahead and begin today's project. Okay guys, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come underneath your car and we have a, a dust shield here that we've got to remove. It's going to be four bolts, 12 millimeter bolts. There's going to be one here, one sitting right there, and then one here and one on the opposite side. And I see another hole right here. Um, I don't know if this one's just missing bolts, but um, on this one it was just four bolts. Those ones I just described to remove. And go ahead and remove those and we'll get this guy up and out of our way. Okay guys, now the next thing you need to do is we're going to come over here and we need to remove your belt. And the way we'll go about doing that is you will find a 14 millimeter uh, bolt head looking thing on this pulley. It's going to be that pulley right there. And to show you here on the little diagram, it's going to be this pulley right here. You'll have two little pulleys right here and it'll be that one. Get your your socket and ratchet on the end of that one and you're going to pull left and that's going to loosen up the tension on this belt and then you'll be able to remove your belt while you're holding so I'll demonstrate that here in just a second. Okay guys so now I've got my ratchet on the end of that fastener I'm just going to push this way I'm going to reach down here and on that big pulley to the left I'm just going to pull them off then my ratchet will go all the way that way and then I'll be able to remove my belt here. and since we have that chart we don't really need to remember the way it was stuck on there but it's kind of helpful to remember the way you took it off kind of makes it a little easier when you're going to put back things back on there and really you can just pull it out of the way about right there because our alternator is sitting right down there and our belt is no longer on our alternator so i'll just kind of let them uh, fall down there and i'll show you next step here for removing that alternator okay guys and the next thing you want to do and you might want to make this a habit of being the first thing you want to do i just kind of forgot to do it until i saw myself do, undoing some electrical stuff and I was like hey I should uh, disconnect my battery cable so yeah disconnect your negative battery terminal that way if we hit something we're not going to see a spark and we're not going to get something really hot so uh, now I'll show you next step and guys I forgot to mention your battery terminal cable over there it's a 10 millimeter wrench I was using to, to loosen up that thing there so you could take your, your cable off next thing we're going to do though is we're going to come underneath our car and we're going to locate our alternator because we've removed that big metal dust shield so we can now see it. And basically, sitting right up there, you can see a plastic piece. And I'm going to grab a hold of them up. I'm using the camera. It looks, looks closer than it was. So you're just going to pull this guy off. And I previously pulled them off before this. I don't know the proper way of removing this thing. You might want to take a flathead screwdriver and carefully pry it. But... Basically what you can do is it'll be setting it on there like that and you can just push and break it off because I, I broke the one side and that's okay because it's not that pivotal of a piece there and it'll still stick on there good and you can see I'm kind of rocking it, it doesn't fall off and then it'll be removable and put back on the bowl. <laughs> so just do that right there and you'll get this guy off and just push hard it'll kind of snap off and you can see that one little side is kind of broken off there and the other side's intact and that'll keep it to go back on so next we're going to work on removing that nut right there that's holding on that wire we have two wires going into the alternator this is a 10 millimeter nut we've got to remove and on the other side it's probably going to be a pull and squeeze my plan is I'm going to remove this wire, I'm going to remove the two fasteners holding the alternator in, and then when I get the, the alternator down and closer to me, I'll work on that back wire. So uh, get you a 10 millimeter combination wrench and remove that nut. Uh, you just reach up in there, your combination wrench will fit up in there over that nut, get him started, take him off, get that wire off, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay guys, so the next thing we want to do is get your alternator here. We have two fasteners. We have a bolt sitting right here and both the fasteners are 14 millimeters. So use your 14 millimeter socket. So you got the one there you can see and then up and around. Um, I don't know if you can see it from the shot I'm giving you. Let's see. 
it doesn't look like you can see it but what I'll do here is in just a second I'll put my ratchet with my socket on that nut the other one's a nut not a bolt and then you'll be able to see where your ratchet has to go and it's not that hard to get to guys I'll, I'll tell you that so uh, here in just a second you'll see that shot oh, okay guys and there is my ratchet it's sitting on that fastener so we can see just beyond the sprocket there or a little pulley uh, there's going to be a nut sitting there, so uh, just reach reach up there with your hand and feel for it and then put your sock and ratchet on there and break it loose, remove those two fasteners and then we'll see what's happening with our alternator. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to do here is unfortunately we have to remove the power steering pump because the power steering pump pulley is going to be in our way. So it's going to be, this guy right here is the power steering pump pulley and you have three fasteners that are holding this guy on. You can see I've already got mine loose. There's a bolt sitting right there, there's a stud and a nut sitting right here, and then there's another bolt sitting below that bolt, kind of more towards the center where my finger's sitting. So, the way you're gonna go about getting to these is you'll get to this nut up here from up top and you'll spin your pulley here so that you can get your extension and ratchet. It's gonna be this guy right here. You're gonna get a ratchet and an extension about that long with your 14 millimeter socket. You'll stick it in there. You'll have to push this hose out of your way. And this guy, this big coolant hose, he flexes quite a bit. So push him out of your way. And then like I said, you're gonna line up a hole with the nut there and then you'll be able to fit your ratchet in there. And you'll be able to remove that one. Uh, the, these fasteners are fastened really tight. Then the other two, you'll come from the bottom and again, the hose will just be in your way. You'll pull your hose out of the way, you'll get your ratchet uh, with the same socket and extension you saw on the other one. I was able to loosen up those other two fasteners which will be sitting like there and there if you can kind of get that idea. So go ahead and remove all those fasteners and then your pulley will be loose. It'll still be connected to the hoses, but that's okay because we just need to kind of pull that pulley out of our way so we can get the alternator out. So I'll show you what that looks like here in just a moment. Okay guys, once you've removed all your fasteners, the next thing you're going to want to do is with your right hand, you'll reach down in this little area here. So you'll reach down with your right hand, pick up on the bottom of the alternator, and then with your left hand, you'll grab this pulley here, your power steering pulley, and you'll pull him, not all the way off the stud, but just pull him out like that. You can see he's moving, and then with your right hand, arrange the alternator out of that out of the pulley's way the power steering pump pulley's way then you'll have your alternator sitting down there and we still got that plug to unplug so here in just a second i'll show you how we're going to do that okay so now we're going underneath the car and we're looking at our alternator and you want to arrange it so that it looks like this so you can see your plug um it'll be loose and beyond that pulley so you'll be able to maneuver it in such a position so it looks like this then you'll take some pliers unless you're just strong enough and you'll disconnect your plug but first of all you've got this rubber boot that's kind of in the way of it and you'll just pull that rubber boot out of your way and then you'll see the squeeze thing is right here and then you can squeeze with your hands if you're strong enough and just pull it on out or if you're not strong enough you can use a pair of pliers to assist you in squeezing that piece right there and now our alternator is completely free I just got to figure out a way to pull it out so I'll show you it here in just a second okay guys and this is the way I figured out how to pull it out basically you're gonna want this uh, stud here for your wire pointing towards your radiator and um, this little thing here towards this little support and you'll have your like a transmission fluid no it's a coolant it's a coolant line well there's a line not this one but one above you're gonna have to push lightly and bring this guy down smoothly so um this job is not for the the faint of heart it's uh it's gonna take some it's gonna take some maneuvering here so um just keep that in mind once you've got it to this position i'm just uh letting it hang here for demonstration purposes but now i'll be able to just kind of pull all the way out it'll be easy once you get it to that point so here in just a second i'll show you what you need to know next okay guys now as far as putting everything back together i won't uh hold your hand through the process if i do figure out any good techniques for putting anything on i will let you know i'll just uh talk over brief overview putting everything back together of course remember to put your bolts and nut in that power steering pump there so you got that tightened down and then get your alternator back up in there then 
Don't forget to put your belt back on. So pretty much just self-explanatory, putting it back together. Um, this was a tough job, so if you were able to get this far, you should have the, the skills with your hands there to get everything back together. So like I said, in just a second, you'll see if I have any more insight for this project. But if not, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. And guys, uh, I have found one helpful strategy while putting this guy back together. I noticed it's really tough to get the alternator back up on the stud. That's what you gotta do, you gotta hang the alternator on the stud and hold your power steering pump pulley back at the same time because the best way to do it is to get underneath the car and put it up and then just raise it up and slide it over that stud. The way I was able to hold the pulley forward while not actually physically being there was I fit a socket right in between there and there and I'll show you I'll remove the socket and show you what this looks like so let's see I just removed my socket and now I'm gonna grab a hold of the pulley and you can see it rocks back and forth now so the idea is you want to hold it and I'm pulling the pulley you want to hold it right there shove you a socket in there and it goes in sideways it went in it sat in like that it's too long going that way and that'll hold the power steering pump out of the way for you so that's how I was able to hold that and hang my alternator at the same time so I'll give you some more if I, if I have anything else when I'm going back in thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos which publish Mondays and Fridays at 9am Pacific time 10am Mountain Time 11am Central Time 12pm Eastern Time and I will see you then